I was a very dumb, reckless kid once. But are we all like dumb, reckless kids deep down inside? <laughs> Continue your story, Zombs. So yeah, I was a dumb, reckless kid. Now, don't get me wrong, I was a good kid, but I did have some bad, devilish tendencies within me that needed to be free and wreck havoc. Yeah. And so, because of my dumb recklessness, I nearly almost lost my eye. Now, before I get into that incident, let me ask you guys something. Have you ever injured or broken anything within your body? I knew some of my friends that broke their arm or leg, and seen some people who have broken their arm, leg, and even their neck. And looking back at it, I've been in a lot of accidents in my life, and I never once broken anything in my body. I used to believe I had the power to not bring anything with my body, but Sally Reality hits you and you find that was nothing more than a lie. Okay, so every summer I go to the good old country of Virginia, because the rest of my family lives there, plus it's my scare off from that hell of a shit old place, New York! So, I was between the ages of 9 and 12. I was at my dad's house with my cousins outside doing regular kid stuff until we decided to play hide and seek. Now, the area of my dad's house doesn't have that much places to hide. So your best options were to hide underneath the house, hide behind the shed, hide behind a truck, or hide in the woods. Now, given the range that my cousins are a lot taller and older than me and me being the shortest and the baby, pretty much gives each side an advantage and disadvantage. So we went through who was going to be it, and my cousin who was 8 years older than me was chosen. Home base was the stairs behind my dad's house. And these stairs were in bad condition. They were old, starting to come loose, and plus some of the nails were sticking out of them too. So my cousin starts counting. We all begin to hide and I can't really remember where I was, but I was probably hiding behind the shed or the truck. And probably half of my cousins were in the woods hiding. My cousin finished counting and starts looking for us. Some of my cousins managed to make it a home base, and my cousin was still finding everyone. I was gonna go take the risk and make a run for it. I was almost there. I was almost at home base. Just a few feet away. Until. Oh man, goddamn. I ended up going head first into the stairs. And what made it worse was that I hit the nail that was sticking up and that it was an inch away from my eye. The reason for this was because I didn't tie my shoes. And besides, it was the early 2000s, and also who the hell tied their shoes back then anyway? You're invalid is not reason! So I got up and sat on the stairs. It felt like nothing even happened. I ain't feel any pain, and my cousins came rushing over and looked at me and told me I was bleeding. It must have been from the adrenaline I had trying to be like son and get in the home base. So my cousins took me inside the house and told my dad what happened he went all medical doctor on me and everything. And as for my mom, she didn't really take it that well. She found out when I came home from my dad's and was shocked and concerned as to what happened to me. I told her what happened and like any other mom, she hugged me close and tight worried and concerned for a baby boy. She kinda seen the scar as an imperfection to my cute baby face. Um, I think you may have forgotten that I have a scar on my neck too mom so... What's the difference between having a scar on my neck and having one on my face? I didn't really care about the scar, I thought it was pretty badass. Okay, but do you have any proof of that actually happening? Yes I do! I have evidence! No.
Wow, that's an ugly looking bastard right there. Oh wait, that's just me. Yeah, I get used to it because this will be the first and last time you're going to see this ugly thing. Yeah, I know what you came to see. You came to see the scar, right? Don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to show you. Before I show you, I just want to say this. I just want to say this. Excuse me. I just want to prove that when I, when I show this, I don't want to get hear someone saying, Oh, he's just doing it for views. I don't see no scar. That's just makeup. That's just an effect. No, 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 no. 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 You're going to see it. And it's going to be kind of hard to see because of the lighting and everything and from the way it healed up and everything. But yeah, here it is. Right here. I probably have my finger over it, but it's like right here. The scar's like right here. You can barely see it. It's like a little dark spot right there because it's healed up and everything. But I don't know if I'm pointing right at it or my finger's over it. But yeah, this is how close it was. Where that nail scratched me. And that's how close it was to my eye. Yeah. So. I'm going to be done with this. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. So, does that answer your question? Meh. But yeah, that's how I nearly lost my eye. And there's no moral to this story. But isn't the moral of the story about tying your shoes? Ah! Fine! Thank you, DBZ! The moral of the story is to tie your shoes and look where you're going. Simple as that. And also, God forbid, if I did lose my eye that day, I think I may have ended up being the next Fetty Wop. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello.